Ever wondered how massive airplanes are able to lift off and fly? Airplanes fly because their wings create lift, a force that pushes the plane up against gravity. Lift comes from the clever shape of the wings and how air moves around them. Imagine a wing as a flat curved blade called an airfoil. The top is rounded like a gentle hill, while the bottom is flatter. When the plane speeds forward, air rushes over and under the wing. The curved top makes air travel a longer path than the air below. To keep up, the air on top must move faster. Here's the key. Faster moving air has lower pressure. This idea is from Bernoulli's principle, named after the famous scientist. So, low pressure above the wing and high pressure below create a sucking force upward. It's like a vacuum cleaner pulling the wing up. This difference in pressure generates most of the lift, but shape alone isn't enough. The wing tilts slightly upward into the oncoming air at an angle called the angle of attack. This tilt makes the wing push against the air more, boosting the pressure difference. A small angle works great for steady flight. Too steep though and air stalls, it breaks away from the wing, causing the plane to lose lift and drop. Another way to think of it is Newton's third law. Every action has an equal, opposite reaction. The wing slaps air downward, like your hand splashing water. The air pushes back up on the wing with equal force. This downward deflection adds to the lift, working hand in hand with Bernoulli's effect. For takeoff, pilots use engine thrust to gain speed, which ramps up airflow over the wings. Flaps, extra wing parts, extend to curve the airfoil more, increasing lift at low speeds. During landing, they help slow down safely. In short, lift is air's invisible dance around the wing. Fast on top, slow below, tilted just right.